Today we are celebrating Western New York thanks to you. The 10 Lives Club received, unbelievable, mm -hmm. hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of donations. And today the Cat Rescue Shelter is sharing how they plan to spend all that money. Two on your side's Keelan Berrien joins us now to tell us. Keelan? Yes, yeah, Scott and Mary Alice. You know, like you said before, the donations are steadily coming. You know, 10 Lives Club has been making national headlines and this morning they were actually on the Today Show talking about the impact football fans and cat lovers are making. Returning to love for rescue cats How are you doing, sweetie? is what Kimberly LaRussa is doing at the 10 Lives Club, a cat rescue shelter in western New York. Thank you for being so nice to me and let me put on your Bills jersey. I appreciate you. Which some of her motivation comes from her friend Buffalo Bills kicker Tyler Bass, who greets you at the door. To receive that kind of hate and, and backlash was not cool, and that's not what the City of Good Neighbors does. So we want to let everyone know, leave our friend alone. Social media posts went out urging people to stop bullying the Bills kicker. So in return, thousands donated to the shelter in increments of $22 in light of Bass's jersey number. A lot of the cats that come into us, they're uh, abandoned, they're homeless cats, and they come in with all kinds of needs. You know, they might need surgery, they might need dentals. All of this adds up, so um, this money will make a huge impact on these rescue cats. And of course, we want to figure out something to do very nice in Tyler Bass's name to thank not only him, but the community for their overwhelming amount of support for our cat rescue. Over 3,000 cats are rescued here each year. No, not in a million years did we expect all of this, but so grateful to see the support for Tyler Bass. And we hope he's watching and he, we hope he knows what a difference he's making. Which is a pivotal moment in NFL, clawing into positivity. I'm sure all the football <laughs> players went home that day and, and, you know, felt down about the game. So depending on one person and, and stuff is, is not right at all. <laughs> so, all right. so it's a lot of small donations, mm -hmm. but they add up. What's the amount? Do we know? Do we have a total? Well, Scott and Mary Alice, thanks to you, Western New York, and other football fans, the shelter has raised nearly three hundred thousand dollars. Wow! That is a great. You know, La Larissa says this is the first time the shelter has received this many donations at one time. You know. It's great that they can do so much with that money, too, because, you know, we hear all the time that there are way too many cats out there. Oh, so yeah. the ability to spay and neuter a lot of the cats that do come in and get it, the medical treatment is so expensive. They can save a lot of lives, too. Seriously. Seriously. Yeah, that's a lot of money. Keira. It is a lot of money. You know what I can do with three hundred thousand yeah, dollars? Yeah, I do. Yeah. As a matter of fact, I do. <laughs> you guys would not be seeing me here. <laughs> well, we're glad you're here. All right, thank Thanks. you. Thanks.